Okay, what if we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity? 1 minus 1 over n, and then raised to the n squared power. Yes, this is also very similar to the ones that we have done in the past, right? And now, let's see what we can do with this. Maybe this still diverge. Maybe, yeah, it happens to converge. I don't know. Well, we have n squared. We have the n in the exponent. Let's try either the root test or maybe the ratio test. But inside here, we also have the n. So I think the root test may be a better way to go, right? So I will attempt to use the root test first. Hopefully, it will allow me to draw a conclusion, right? Using the root test, we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And I'll put this down right here. 1 minus 1 over n raised to the n squared power. Take the absolute value and also take the n's root, right? Okay, the absolute value, in fact, doesn't matter because 1 over n, you know n are just whole numbers, right? Positive whole numbers. 1, it's always going to be bigger than 1 over n. So when you have 1 minus 1 over n, this is always going to be positive. And the absolute value doesn't matter. So you can just drop the absolute value and you have this. 1 minus 1 over n raised to the n squared power. And the n's root tells us that we have to divide this by n. And now, this is the same as 1 minus 1 over n raised to the n's power, right? And we have done the algebra right here. Now, here's the calculus part. As n goes to infinity, what does this approach to? Well, we have to utilize the, the fact, right? And um, in this video, I will write down the fact on the side for you guys, okay? Just to be nice. Here is the fact. And the fact says, the limit as n goes to infinity, 1 plus a over n raised to the bn power. This is going to be e to the ab power. And you can also check out the video if you want to see how we can derive that. This is the t, by the way. Okay. Anyway, right here, I'm going to show you guys what the limit is. And to quote the fact, you just have to tell me what are the a and b values. So as you can see, we have the 1 and 1 match. So this is a minus 1. This is a plus a. So that means a has to be negative 1, right? So that indicates that a has to be minus 1, like this. And this is n, this is bn, so that means b has to be positive 1. And you know this will approach to e to the ab power, so it's e to the negative 1 times 1. And you know this is e to the negative 1, and you can write this down as 1 over e. That's pretty much it, right? So, when we do the root test, you do the limit and you take the nth root right, of all this. The result is 1 over e. This is not 1. This is good because we can draw a conclusion either way, right? And you know, e is about 2.718 something. 1 over 2 point something is going to be less than 1. So, this right here, the limit is less than 1. That's great because this will tell us that the original series converges, right? So now let's just write it down. Conclusion. The original series, the sum when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 minus 1 over n raised to the n squared power. This right here converges by the root test. Okay? And this is pretty much it for this series. But in fact, I have done three videos of something really similar to this already, right? So be sure, you, be sure you watch all these three videos so you can get a better idea of what happens if this was a plus, what happens if this was just an n power, and what happens if you have this right here. They have different flavors in these three questions, right? Anyway, this is it. Hope you guys like this.